The Fitch Falcons hosted the East Lime Vikings on Saturday. It was fortunate that the game was played at all, as both schools have been heavily affected by a recent flu epidemic. The stands were emptier than normal, some practices were canceled for both schools, and some students were too sick to play. It was cool and crisp, good hitting weather in football circles, and the defenses showed up as neither team scored in the first quarter. This was smash mouth football, pure and simple. It was a night of almost for both teams, as countless plays throughout the game that went long, came up just short. Here you're gonna see the Vikings use the flea flicker and they're gonna throw it downtown, but junior Kwame Cole bats it away at the last second. East Lime would get on the board first with Kevin Meow's one yard run with nine and a half minutes left in the first half. Mike Babcock added the extra point, seven nothings Vens. Here senior QB Jacob Grills hits junior Eric McGlone with the quick pass, but just when it looked like the Vikings offense had opened up, Falcons senior James Barclay would not be denied and shut it down with this sack. On fourth down and five on the Viking 25 with two minutes left in the half, sophomore Derek Baldoz is going to toss it up and it's going to be picked by Christopher Kohansky. Now we're going to move to the second half and here's that first half combination again, grills to McGlone. And that's going to set up Kevin Meow for his second touchdown of the game. This one from two yards out. Meow 101 yards on 22 carries in this one. The extra point up and good. 14 zip, Norseman. Fitch would come roaring back, though. Baldoz drops back. And he's going to find junior Eric Riley in double coverage for the long completion. Nice run after the catch. And the Falcons were flying. That set up this, the fake to the fullback, the fake draw by Baldoz, and the entire East Lime defense and the cameraman had no idea who had the ball. Senior Mike Bond has it, though, and he adds six from six yards out. Fitch goes for two, and no, incomplete. 14-6 Vikings. Next possession, Grills drops back again. This time it is almost picked in and out of the hands of senior Chris Poteet. Third and nine on the ensuing possession. Baldoz finds Thomas Brown for the first down. Next play, Baldoz, he's going to look deep again. Looks for Eric Riley. Off his hands and great concentration showed by senior Brendan McDermott for the pick. All right, here we go. 25 seconds to go. Baldoz finds Brown again. Out of bounds. 17 seconds. Baldoz scrambles. Looks around. Can't find anybody. Runs, picks up 13, and stops the clock. Here we go. Eight seconds left. Down by eight. And fittingly, it's going to be the defense that ends this one. Mikey Babcock with the sack. The fumble recovered with no time left. East line 14, Fitch 8. The pain of defeat, the joy of victory. After the game, we spoke to coaches and players. I think our defense has been our strength all year. Uh, we don't give up many points. Uh, most of our games are either shut out, six points. Yeah. Um, I think that's been our strength all year. Good linebackers, everybody, and we just fly to the ball. <laughs> We've had so, I mean, so much pain the past two years. Four and six two years ago, four and seven last year. It's finally good to know we're playing for something bigger, and this game is huge. Fitch is a great team. They're going to win a lot more games. It's just, it's a huge win for us, uh, playoff-wise.